If there is one thing that annoys me, it's losing my time. I can't stand losing my time. So in today's video, I am going to help you save your time by designing faster and more efficiently in the Canva editor. I am going to present 25 tips and hacks in Canva that will help you speed up your workflow and increase your productivity. So without further ado, I don't want to waste your time any longer. So let's jump into Canva. All right, so the first tip I want to show you is when you make a mistake and you want to undo that mistake. So very easy. You can use the little arrow right here to go back. For example, let's say I have accidentally cropped this photo right here and it looks like this. No good, Ronnie. So what can I do? Of course, I can use the arrow like so, but this is about showing you the keyboard shortcut to do it. So what I will do is just use my command or control on a PC, command on a Mac and do Z, command Z. And then my photo, my previous move will be undone. So that is undo, but undo has a little brother called redo. So let me show you how redo works. So let's say I have this photo right here. I'm going to do some manipulations here. I'm going to move it and I'm going to maybe rotate it. So I have performed three actions. I want to undo some of them and then I will redo some of them. So undo as we've seen before, command and Z undo 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 but if i want to redo i will use the key command or control on a pc and then shift that's the addition and then the z so you see it will redo what i had done so undo command z redo command shift z all right moving on to the next tip how to show the rulers and guides so rulers and guides are really useful for aligning your designs by placing rulers and guides okay so how do we turn on and off the rulers and guides well typically you would have to go to your file and then show rulers show guides but there is a productivity hack a tip so the productivity hack here is to bring on the rulers you will go shift and r you see they disappear bring them back on shift r again they come back so let's bring a guide for example i'm gonna put a guide right next to ronnie right here another one like so and i'm going to make this very precise like this all right so now i have these four guides and they are visible if i want to hide them I can go command and semicolon, okay? On a PC, it will be control and semicolon, like this. So control, semicolon, they disappear, they come back. Again, to hide the rulers, I would go shift and R, they come back. All right, so moving on to the next tip. I want to zoom in and out on a design. So first, get rid of these guides by pressing command or control and semicolon. I don't need that anymore. So let's say I want to zoom in on this design to change some of the details. So I will simply go command or control on a PC and then the plus sign on my keyboard. So command plus or command minus to zoom out. So zooming in, zooming out, command or control plus or minus. So that's my next tip. All right, so something else that I like to do in Canva when I really need to focus on the working area and I need to optimize this space is to collapse the side panel. So typically you will use this little arrow right here and then just click on anywhere in the side panel to bring it back so you see this little side arrow right there, but there is also a shortcut to hide it. So for that, you will go command or control and then the slash key. So the forward slash that is usually next to your star on your keypad. So that is command or control and your forward slash key. All right, moving on to the next tip. Canva recently introduced new view modes for you to work faster, especially if you work in video documents, presentations, etc and that new view mode is called presentation mode so in order to access this when when your editor looks like this one right here you can use the little arrow that says show pages there's a little arrow at the bottom of your screen when you click here this is what you will see basically you will have 
your thumbnails right here corresponding to your different slides. So if you didn't know that, this little arrow right here helps you toggle between these view modes. All right, next tip is about duplicating slides in this thumbnail view. So let's say you have your slides, you are in thumbnail view. How can you quickly duplicate these slides? So for example, let's say this slide right here with me sitting on the origami, I want to duplicate this slide. So from the thumbnail view, I will select this slide and hold my option button on a Mac or my Alt option on a PC and just simply drag it. So hold option or Alt pressed and then just click and duplicate like so. And right there, I have duplicated. Now I have two of these slides right here. I'm just gonna go Command Z to delete that, but that's how you duplicate it. Another way to duplicate it is that when you hover over the thumbnail, you will see these three little dots. You can go click here and then duplicate this slide. And then finally, let me show you one more way to do this. You are selecting your slide and then you just Command C or Control C and Command V. Control V. You just copy and paste your slide just as if it was an element in the editor or anything really as a simple command V, command C manipulation on any computer. By all means, I hope you are enjoying these productivity tips, guys. If you are, help us. Just support the channel by giving us a like. YouTube really likes that. It helps our videos get more views, get more love from the YouTube algorithm. So you don't have to smash that like button you can gently tap this like button. That works as well. Anyways, moving on with the tutorial, the next productivity tip I want to show you is how you can duplicate an element very simply without having to go through this and then using the button that is duplicate. There are a couple of ways of duplicating and it's very similar to what I just showed you with the thumbnails and your pages in your document. The first way is that you will use your option key or your alt key on a PC, hold it and then move your elements. So by holding option and moving your elements, you simply duplicate them very quickly. Okay, let me command Z this. Another way of duplicating simply command C, command V. All right, command C, command V, just copy paste. Again, you can go command C, and command v, 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 and you have a large meal for your family with lots of burritos. And then there is a final way you can copy this element is simply by using your left click and then you will go copy and then again left click paste. All right, this one is a little bit longer, so I wouldn't dwell too much on this one. My favorite is holding option and then just moving elements because you can hold option and as long as you stop it, you can really create a nice burrito menu right here. All right, my next tip is when you have pages in your document, you no longer need. So how do you quickly delete these pages? Well, I have two pages here, page 17 and 18 that I don't really need anymore. So I want to delete them of my document. So very easily, you're going to select them. So I'm gonna press shift because I want to select two different pages. So right now I have no pages selected. I'm gonna press the first one and then the second one by holding shift, okay? And now I have these two slides here selected and I'm just going to hit my delete key on my keyboard to get rid of them. And that's how you do it. The next tip I want to show you is how to group elements. So grouping elements could be super useful here. I only have two elements, okay, these two, but I want to group them so I can move them together. Right now they are not grouped and basically just move separately. So in order to do that, I need to first select them and then very easily command or control G for group. And then now you have grouped your elements. Similarly, you can of course ungroup them. And for that, you will go command shift G to ungroup. So to do an action, to perform an action, and then to reverse an action, you simply add the shift. So command or control G to group them and then command or control plus shift and G, you ungroup them. So this is grouping and ungrouping elements. The next tip I want to show you to speed up your workflow is how can you bring an element backward or forward? So for this, I have chosen this design uh, taken from a previous tutorial I made about creating an animated birthday invite for Diana's birthday, which was in January, but it has a bunch of different elements right here, if you can see. Let me change the color of this background so you can see better. 
let me change this for this color right here. So I have a lot of food here on this picnic setup, but some of it is behind. So for example, I have this bowl of chips right here, which is behind a couple of muffins. So it's pretty difficult for me to select elements or to bring them forward or backward in my design. So the different layers. So there is a shortcut to bring an element forward or backward. So for that, you will have to first select it and then you will hit command and the little hooks that you have. So this is not the parenthesis, this is the hook. So you have the left hook that will push your element further in the background. So further back, you see I'm hiding it behind everything. It's still selected. And then if I use command or control and the right hook, I'm going to bring it back forward in the layers you see and now it's all the way to the first layer so again this bowl of chips right here let me show you how to push it command or control and then the left hook i'm going to push it back like there behind the muffin behind everything and if i want to bring it forward command or control and then the right hook until it comes all the way to the front but I want it behind this muffin right there. Okay, so that is bringing forward or pushing backward an element. Similarly, sometimes it is very difficult to click on an element because it is hidden behind another element. So I'm going to show you a tip to quickly select elements that are hidden that are behind other elements. Okay, so for this, let's use the same design right here. And I am trying to click on that turkey right there that you see in the background, but it's hard to click. Like I'm just clicking with my mouse, cannot access this turkey. So what you are going to do is to hold your command key and you click on it. And you see, because now I'm holding command or control on a PC, you can actually click on the elements that are behind. Let me show you again, like without, you see, that is the element that is in front. I double clicked on it and that's what's happening. You see the entire element. So I'm holding command and now I can click on an element that is behind. All right, so shifting gears and by all means, why haven't you liked the video yet? Come on guys, uh, shifting gears, as I was saying, I want to show you four quick hacks to create elements faster. The first one is to create a text box. For that, very simple, just use the T key. Hit your T key and you will create a text box on your page. Next is how can you quickly format this text box that you just created, make it bold, italic, or even underline. All right, so I have my text box here and I want to show you four quick formatting options with keyboard shortcuts. So the first one, you first you select your text or you can select a word in your text. Let me show you the difference. I'm gonna select the entire text box first and go command or control and B for bold, okay? So that's the first one. What you can also do is select one word, not the entire text box. So let me just select one word here, like paragraph, and I'm gonna go control or command B. And you see this one, is not bolded, just the middle word is not bolded. My next one is underline. So that would be command or control and U for underline. You see, it underlines the text. Next is italic. So that is command I for italic. And the last one is to uppercase your text boxes. So this one is a little bit different. It's command shift K or control shift K. And if you reverse it, just the same. So command shift K, command shift K. All right. So that is to uppercase your text boxes. Continuing with super fast element on your page, creating a simple line. Nothing easier than that. Just press the L key and you will create your simple line. And then you have all your line options right here. You can add some thickness. You can change the style of your line. You can add extremities to your line, etc., etc. So this is super easy. Just use the L keyboard shortcut. Next, I want to show you how to create a rectangle. Also super easy. That is the R key, R for rectangle. And it will be using the last color you've been using basically. So rectangle, very simple. R key. And then last but not least, how to create a circle in a similar fashion, just use your C key, C for circle. All right, we have a couple of more tips to go guys. So hang on there because after this, you'll be designing so fast that you wouldn't believe all the time you have at the end of the day to do whatever you like. All right, so I want to show you a tip to control all of the elements on your design. So for this, just use the command key or the control key on your keyboard and the letter A. 
So that will select all the elements you see. Let me click here and unselect everything. I have all the elements selected. Okay, so from here, you can add or remove an element very easily. Let's say I want to keep my selection going. I want to select everything, but I want to remove Diana here. So with everything selected, I just hold my shift key and I click on the desired parts elements that I want to deselect. So I'm going to deselect Diana and that crown right here. And then I will delete everything else. And this is what will remain. So let me go back and show you again. So you have everything selected. Command A, selecting everything. I want to deselect that tree. I'm going to hold my shift key and click on that specific element. So if I hit delete right now, only the tree should remain like so. Next is how do you select multiple elements? Or for example, you don't want to select all, but you want to select multiple elements to delete or move or group or anything you want really. So I want to select this tree and Diana. So I'm going to select the tree and then similar fashion, holding my shift key, I'm going to click on Diana. Maybe also this little crown right here that she has on her head. So right now, you can see I can move these elements that I have selected. So that is using the shift key and clicking on different elements. So again, the tree shift Diana shift. My shift key is still held down the, the little crown right here. I can group these guys. And now I have this element just all nicely grouped together bringing it back and moving on to the next tip. There is one more text hack that I forgot to show you to work faster. It is to justify your text. You can either justify your text to the center, to the left or to the right. So for example, I have this text box right here, which is centered, but let's say I want to justify it to the right. So I'm going to go selecting the text box, then command shift R. And then you see my text is justified to the right Can go back command shift or control shift C and it's justified back to the center. So this is a quick tip to justify the text. All right, guys, I have two more tips to go. So almost there. The next one is how can you copy paste style? You know, this little paintbrush button that you have that copies the style. So let me show you. I have this. I want to use the copy paste button here to make this one little circle the same color. I kind of copied the style of this circle to this one. So let me control Z this one because I want to show you the keyboard shortcut. So what you will do is select your first element from which you want to copy the style and you will go command control option or alt and then C. So it is command option C and then you will click on the one you want to transfer your style command control V. So that is kind of like a control C control V or command C command V, but you will add your option key to the mix. So let me delete that and do it again. Command option C or control alt C on a PC like this. And then I can select the four of them and then command option V to quickly style a bunch of different elements all at once. All right, my next tip is how can you move elements to be precise with your keyboard arrows? I believe a lot of you already know that, but it may take a long time. Let me show you. Like, for example, I want to move this Ronnie astronaut right here slightly to the right. If I go with my keyboard arrow, you see it takes forever to move this. So because it's moving one pixel at the time. But what I want to do is to show you how you can move them from 10 pixel increments. So for that, you will simply hold down your shift key while using your keyboard arrow. And you see it moves much faster than if I was using just the keyboard arrow. So this is my right arrow. And this is my right arrow with the shift key held down. So that is it for today. These were my 25 tips for productivity for working faster with Canva. I hope you enjoyed them. By all means, check out the other videos on this channel. Diana and I create a new video every week for you guys to learn how to become better designer with Canva. Once again, this was Ronnie. Super happy to have spent this time with you. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.